Pretty say right. None of us here. We're back in our good old home of the training hall. And I wanted to talk to you uh, with this first video kind of coming here um, about breath. Um, it's something that comes up a whole lot. It's something that's very, very important. And we want to talk about kind of how to properly do it. Now, when you say properly breathe, that might sound kind of strange, but um, it's true. We tend to get into bad breathing habits uh, because of convenience or bad posture, um, all kinds of different things. Um, under stress, we tend to go into a kind of chest breathing. What we want to try to do um, in most martial arts is breathe from the abdomen or include in abdominal breathing. <clears throat> now, the reason we want to do this is twofold. Number one, um, it helps the diaphragm do its job in pulling air in to the lungs to get oxygen to everything. So you breathe nice and deep. You're getting air and oxygen into the very, very lowest vessels to get lots and lots of oxygen that your muscles can use to move you. Um, the other thing that it does is it incorporates the use of your abdomen and your abdominal muscles to breathe, right? And it creates intra-abdominal pressure. Now, we're going to use the analogy of the air going into the belly. It doesn't actually go there, and you can totally breathe without that happening. But for the sake of learning this natural type of breathing, um, we're going to use the belly. And you can actually see this in infants when they're, when they're lying there. When they breathe, it's their belly that moves up and down, and there's very little motion up in the chest. Right? Now, <clears throat> to get that feeling is not necessarily really easy if you've never kind of paid attention to that before. What I like to do is put my thumb in my navel, let my hand drop right here so that my pinky is kind of going along my lower ab right here. I can take the other hand just kind of cup it over it and then when I inhale I try to push my hand out and down. So if I turn to the side and you can see that moving there. Now, um, one of the reasons this is important is because when you match this motion to your breath, you get A, a more efficient breathing, and B, you have a pattern of contracting your abs. If you think about it, when you go to push something really, really heavy, you've got your hands right on it and you're just about to push it, the first thing you do is you suck in some air and you hold it, maybe you grunt, something like this, so that it creates a lot of pressure right here. Now what that pressure does is it creates support for your lower back. And your lower back is what transfers all of your energy from your legs and the ground up through to your body to your hands and to your weapon. Okay? So learning breathing is, is very, very important and learning how to maintain a good breath is very, very important. In fighting, if you're breathing very well, right, you won't gas, as we say. You're not going to run out of breath, you're not going to start panting, right? Because I can tell you and most, most other people who fought, if somebody starts doing that and you can start catching up on their breathing pattern, you can easily catch them off guard, right? Because you can tell what their motions are. Because whether we know it or not, we like to match our movements to our breath, right? Now the problem is, is a lot of people will hold the breath to keep that pressure there. Martial arts breathing techniques, which we're not going to go into necessarily right now, we're just going to go into the natural breathing or continuing, right? Show you how to utilize that without holding your breath, right? But the first thing you have to do is gain control over this area with your breath, okay? So that's the ba basic mechanics of it. Now, if you have problems doing this, and sometimes it's very difficult for people to do that. You don't want any motion up here, right? <clears throat> if I'm here, when I inhale here, and you'll notice too that if, I was over, if I'm over like this, when I inhale nice and deep into my lower abdomen, I tend to straighten up a little bit. Now, I've been looking, I'm looking down, but 
because it's easier to keep an erect posture. Okay. Now, posture is something that we I'll go into at a later date, but it is a dynamic process. It's not a static thing, right? So we're really concerned more about movement than we are posture. So posture being a dynamic thing, your breath is going to be the cycle which kind of keeps your posture together. Now, there's a couple of other tricks that you can use to get this abdominal breathing. And one of them is a trick from yoga, which is called crocodile breath. And what you're going to do is lay down on the ground and you're going to put your hands like this on your forehead. I'll demonstrate here in a moment. Um, as, you, as you have your hands here like this, you're going to be able to keep your head in a natural kind of position like you were standing. So you don't want to look up like this because that's what's going to happen, right? <clears throat> so as I'm laying on the ground, I'm going to have my hands like this. So it's basically like me standing up straight and then just putting my hands on my head like this. Then what I do is I breathe in and I push my belly into the ground. And what that will do when I'm laying on the ground is my back will raise up. Then when I exhale, it will go down. Inhale, exhale. Right. Again, we don't want to be like this because that's not how we're really going to be able to breathe. <clears throat> okay. So, once you get that down and you get that feeling down, bring it up to a standing position, and then just try to keep that natural breath in, no matter what you do. Always breathing in. When you feel out of breath and you feel yourself going <laughs> up here into the chest, try to calm it down, slow it. Right? Um, doing counts. In for two, hold for one, out for three, or any combination somewhere in there, right? Go in, hold your breath for a little bit, let some of that oxygen get into your bloodstream, and then exhale, right? Also, the longer you hold it, the more carbon dioxide is going to get in there too, which is going to calm you down, okay? So it's not all oxygen. It's You've got to get this really, really good mix. Now, one of the most important things, which I didn't mention, was you want to breathe mostly through the nose, okay? In through the nose, out through the nose. You can go out through the mouth, but it's better at the beginning to try to quiet the breath so you can't hear it at all and breathe only through the nose. That's probably the best, the best way. And with your mouth, you try to put your tongue just behind the tip or the tip of your tongue just behind your two front teeth like this, which will put your jaw in a good position. And if you're a barehanded fighter, you'll know that's a good place to hopefully keep you from getting knocked out and getting hit there. I don't know if that holds any medical uh, truth, but it is a myth that I've, I've heard. Anyway, so those are kind of the basics of breathing. Um, in through the nose, breathe mostly through the nose. You can go out through the mouth, but try to accentuate the nose. Stand up straight, that will kind of happen already, but really, really try to get that breath down into the abdomen, pull it down with the lower abdomen, and try to keep this nice and still, right? If you have problems, try the crocodile breath. Um, we'll obviously do more uh, videos on this to give you more hints and all of that. So, oh, and of course, uh, uh, how it relates to uh, combat and all of that kind of thing. Okay, so that's it for breathing uh, the basics. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see you around. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell all of your friends. That's where we're here. Have a great day. Happy savoring.